Uh, and of those 32, we lost some because four were from other counties, which is great. Two from Henderson, two from Wood. That's how interested they were that they came to our training area trying to get back to their counties. And then the other ones, uh, they're up in Oregon. They've been working this week. Uh, poll watching is important, but it's only one piece of the whole puzzle. The whole puzzle is end-to-end -end election fraud. And that means we've got military voting, which we've had a lot of problems with, which is getting fixed in Texas, I think, more than anywhere else. We've got voting by mail for the, uh, other citizens, which again has a high probability of fraud. We have voter registration that has got kind of different ways it's done, and different places it's done, and there's a good opportunity for fraud there as well. And we're seeing that dead people voting in elections for many years after they didn't have to die. So there's a lot of work to do. So what we're going to look at, besides poll watching, which is really important, we're doing that today, but we're going to look at end-to-end -end process of, of the whole thing, including the equipment. The equipment itself has integrity issues that we have to worry about. So Karen Nelson is our uh, administrator for elections. Great lady, very cooperative, and we're working together on this. I'm very pleased that we, fortunate enough in our county, we have someone that cares and wants to work with us. In fact, she's happy that we're doing poll watching because we're giving feedback on her people. And by the way, the feedback we're getting on her people, they're excellent. They all care, they're all doing a good job, very cooperative with the poll watchers. Which again, is Karen, I guess, will take credit for that, or should get credit for that. Uh, we showed on here that the voting has done some place so far today. Um, Approximately 4,000 Republicans have voted, and approximately 500 Democrats have voted to us up yesterday or last, last night. That's a 7.5 to, to 1 ratio. That's much higher than we normally get. Normally it's about 3 to 1. So we're voting at a higher level, the Republicans, for this primary than the Democrats, for whatever reason. But I hope that reflects itself as we go that's forward. A, that's a lot of Democrat crossover voting in the yes. sheriff's race. So well, we have distorted. True. That's true. There is distortion on the sheriff's race. But still, it's a good indicator. Um, one of the things that I need help for, or we need help for, uh, is more poll watchers. So I want you, those that are doing poll watching today, recruit others as we go forward. Those that haven't decided they want to do poll watching, reconsider it. It's not that hard. It's valuable. You're going to be able to stop fraud in the fall. There is fraud in East Texas. There is fraud in Smith County. Is it rampant like some other places? No, Houston makes us look bad when it comes to being better at fraud than we are. But it does exist. We also need people that are going to help me do end-to-end -end process. We've got to basically flow chart the whole process and the process associated with the individuals. We need to look at the equipment. We need to look at all those different things that take place from start to finish. And it can only be done with the help of multiple people, people that are willing to do that kind of detailed work. We got between now and probably the middle of September to do that work. Uh, likewise with data research. We have right now five people volunteer for data research. We need probably 20 to look at all the data of every individual that votes to see if it's accurate, see if the driver's license, signature, and data matches the voter registration information. A lot of different things you can look at to find fraud. One of the things that through the vote tells us is any individual address that has more than six registered voters, you need to query that because that's the that number and then above that number we could indicate that people don't really live there but they use that address. They found that some place had 100, 200 people at the same address. When they went to look they may find it was an empty parking lot or maybe a golf course. People are using that to vote dead people and other things. So you got to be careful. The other thing that happens, we have approximately in Smith County about 40,000 people that are registered that don't vote. That's easy for some to vote for them when we don't have voter ID. So again, those are things you got to kind of watch for. And one of the ways you do that is you try and make sure when they come there, maybe they don't know their address. And if you don't remember when you ask them, they hesitate. The poll watcher should be watching to see if the poll person is actually querying at that kind of We're not trained as poll workers to try and find fraud. We're, we're trained to do just the job. I think we need to, at least the poll watchers need to be watching to see if there is an opportunity for fraud that there isn't. Again, that's training for all of us. Uh, the training we've had so far has been very good. Last night, that poll watching, we had seven people that were on that poll watching last night training, four of which had never been trained before. The other three were been training uh, at the class here. So that's good that we got people stepping up to, to do poll watching training. Uh, we're going to continue to do poll watching through the summer uh, training for people so we're ready for the fall. Uh,
Basically, that's it. I think that covers everything I have. Thank you. Thank you. 